Thank you for tuning in with Enchantress. That's me, the babbler. That's me. On this evolutionary, revolutionary rise that is happening at this time. Let me fix this, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Not coughing. <laughs> So, as it turns out, I recorded this uh, yesterday's, but for whatever funky stuff of our reasons, no conspiracy theories here, I lost the 44-minute video, right? So, it was the divine masculine message. And so, here I am, <laughs> ready to be all that I can be. Persistent as funk because that's what I do. Because we don't give up here, right? So that was part of it too. And I remember too the message. It was the hanged man reversed in the stack at Edgar Allan Poe and the Queen of Cups because we were just asking about the divine masculine energy. Like, where are they at now? Because I uploaded finally after three days the Divine Feminine Energy, which I'll link over here. And so I just saw 111. So, mm hmm there's some kind of unification of fun happening here, right? Some kind of synchronization. <gasps> right. So it was, right? So it was just like explaining his feelings. I'm telling you, like, I can't. I'm sporty spice, okay? My daughter hugs me with these, these magnetic eyelashes because, right, I get claustrophobic. <laughs> I get claustrophobic and I don't like anything that I feel. So I wear a lot of like comfortable stuff. Like all my clothes are comfortable. Like I could sleep in my clothes. So the idea for me is that I could sleep and climb a tree in clothes, right? So whatever. So either way, so the message yesterday was the reversed hanged man position, then the queen of cups, right? But in this deck, it was interesting because the reversed hanged man the divine masculine energy was fearful fearful of what ah this intense emotion of feeling in this cup right but then after that we got the six of swords this was yesterday right because i lost it, right so i'm just going and i'm reshuffling and i'm doing this all shit again right so we're going back into the divine masculine energy using these edgar Allan poe cards right so that are fabulous right so pretty much the overall message from yesterday was that the divine masculine energy the yang energy because you know this this is not gender specific this is just energy at its core because we each have divine masculine and we each have divine feminine energies existing within us so if you want to look at it from a self-reflective place that's what i do right evolve into it coaching right because you are the one who is responsible for you and your evolutionary growth right so um so it's about the unification of that process within ourselves right so here we are right unification of ourselves fearful of this emotional part of ourselves that are that is just like having to act having to act that's coming out of, so look at whatever's happening in the transitionary process of the divine masculine awakening to these intense emotions that are just uncomfortable, whether it be to, towards another or whether it just be in breaking all the chains, the bonds, the bondage, the, the, the conditioning, the patterns, the fear, the self-sabotage of just um, acting in accordance to your conditioning from before, that behavioral, that patterning, that 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 for instance or that holding back of your emotions that you feel towards someone for real and it's just like holy i feels so here we are divine masculine energies and i love these edgar Allan poe cards they like speak to my soul and me gusta so where is the divine masculine energies today from the energy that i left off with yesterday because you know we're gonna continue Oops. King of Wands. Whoa. So here's the transition. So we got this king coming in, right? Out of battle. Going through the fire, right? This king. So we're divine masculine showing up. I'm loving it, right? So he's showing up hardcore. He's showing up fire. He's showing up passionate. He's showing up in his fields, in his fire, right? The fire in his belly. Look it coming in <gasps> right because if we see the card from yesterday right i don't even want to look for it so if we see the card from yesterday maybe from here i'll show you from the book right the he was afraid hangs man reverse 
Right. He was. It was reversed, though. Ah, he's like, no, 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 no feelings. No, 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 no. I don't say nothing about my feelings. And now he's like, charge. I'm coming in all fiery and passionate for you. <laughs> so that could be individualized too, right? Right? This is knowing your truth. This is, I know what I'm here to do. And you take that yang action, right? You take that yang action, right? You take that yang action quality with that yin feel, right? Yin. I go in for my win so that I can act upon in accordance to this divine passion of mine, right? Right? I know my fire. Feel. Oh, and I even hear burning down the house, burning down, burning it down, burning down whatever has caused any kind of blockage. So anything that was in the way got burned in the fire. Oh. <laughs> wow, King of Wands, here we go. The Telltale Heart. In the story, Metzen Gerstein. No sé. A prophecy has haunted the Metzen Gerdsteins and his family's enemies, the Berlitz Fitzings. <laughs> For centuries, the prophecy is this. A lofty name shall have a fearful fall when as the rider over his horse, the mortality of Metzen Gerstein shall triumph over the immortality of Berlitz Fitzing. <laughs> These names, right? Frederick Baron Metzergenstein rose to the head of his family seat while his nemesis, Wilhelm von Berlwitzing, dies in a stable fire. Ooh, the enemies die in the fire. What? 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 You are unstoppable, and this is the divine unification message of the divine masculine and divine feminine energies coming into coexistence co-creating with one another anything that stands in your mother fudging way shall burn in the fire you cannot get in the way of what is divinely orchestrated for it is divine and there is no human with their evil eye in this life right that can Coco block of that. <laughs> no matter how much they try. And any wedge that they try to forge in shall be burned. How you like them apples, curly? But not so sweet. <laughs> Just knock off. I got coquitos. I got coquitos. In different area coats, in different area coats. <laughs> okay, go to my masculine. Wilhelm von Berlitzfix dies in a stable fire. Although suspected of arson, Frederick inherits a horse that survives the fire. WVB, I see on the horse. Maybe that means something to you. WVB. It can be W. I hear William, V, Victor, B, Brian. Or BR names, um, V Vivian W W W Wilma. <laughs> I don't know. I don't do those things. I don't say names and all this kind of stuff. But I should say W V B B V M, right? Or V B W, or you know, things like that, right? Mm hmm. Someone has a first name that starts with B. Somebody has a last name that starts with B. Somebody has a first name that starts with V. Somebody has a last name that starts with B. Somebody has a first name that starts with W. Somebody has a last name that starts with W. I don't know. Somebody has a middle initial that starts with W. Somebody has a middle initial that starts with V. Somebody has a middle initial that starts with B. Somebody lives in a state that starts with a B. Somebody lives in a state that starts with a V. Somebody lives in a town that starts with a W. I don't freaking know. W V V. Take your as it resonates. <laughs> so the horse is branded with the letters W V V. <laughs> Frederick regards the horse as a trophy and rides him obsessively. One day, Frederick's home and stables catch fire. Instead of helping his servants free his own horses, he maniacally rides his horse into the flames. 
The question remains whether the horse was the reincarnation of the bird lip fitzing or if it was merely re taking revenge for the murder of its master. This image features Frederick obsessively riding his horse at full throttle. Obsessive. Obsessive love. Maybe it's too, like, you know, getting through, burning through those obsessions to get into that healthy state of love, right? So what part of you in love or wants to be in love, right, that is obsessive? Ooh, take this as it applies. What part of you? Ooh, I saw something too. Green heart. Green, 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 green. I see green lights. Okay? Green lights. What part of you, green, is heart chakra opening blast right now? What part of you is obsessively obsessing over love that needs to be burned in the fire so that love may bloom or rise or not be toxic in your life? you're a master at accomplishing goals you're creative and manifest ideas quickly right but don't let it burn don't let it burn in the fire get things done right the yang quality so it's like coming at out i'm coming out coming out i'm making up a song but it was like a mix of madonna and stuff i'm coming out coming out for your love <laughs> i'm making it up but it's, I'm burning up, burning up for your love. I'm burning up, burning up. <gasps> the divine masculine is burning up, burning up for your love. He's burning up, burning up for, or maybe you're burning up for some love. So what love are you obsessive over that is in you? Believe this to be truth. That needs to burn through. You have focus, determination, right? Saturn enters Aquarius. It's going to be in Aquarius for quite some time right now. This is Saturn, Grandpa. I call him Grandpa. Grandpa Saturn was in Sagittarius and Scorpio. Like, and I have, the, and the craziest thing for me, right, is that my most dominant signs are Virgo, Scorpio, Sag, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Dominant in my chart. Saturn, Grandpa has been with me for some times. And I'm just like, oh, and you know, I have Leo too, but I'm just saying, do you get what I mean? Every motherfucking house Grandpa's visiting, right? So that's here, right? There's this, this, this focus of rehabilitation, recalibration, right? Rejuvenation, liberation. I just posted. Follow me on TikTok too. Curly alchemy. That's me. I've been dancing some spirit finger kind of things. But that's just me. And then my Instagram. At Enchantress. E-N-C-H-A-N-T-R-S. Us. I will be giving a giveaway. December 21. Where it pops up. Pop ups. New York City. And you're not going to want to miss that giveaway. Because I give away nice little pretty things. I give pretty things. Because that's what I do. Right? I'm spitting on myself. So you have focus, determination, and charisma. <laughs> you know that being a great leader means inspiring others to help carry out your visions. Your team's success is your success. Others believe in you and stand behind you. However, no one likes a bossy, ego-driven taskmaster, no matter how wonderful your idea is, so stay grounded. The warmth that you exude makes people feel welcome. Your manifesting power is at an all-time high. So divine masculine energy, yang energy, at an all-time high right now. So get your thoughts together. Get your, 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 your passions together. Ch shift your focus. If it's negative or love vibrational, you're focusing on the wrong things. If it's high vibrational, and, and again, you're not meant to be high vibrational all, no, no, you're meant to be in a line vibration all the time. Stop it with that stuff. What you're not meant to be is all jilly billy jilly jolly all the time. Until you get like me, where I'm jibby jobby most of the time until the humans mess with me. But not even anymore. You get what I'm saying? So, like, it takes a lot to shift, right? It's, it's authentic joy. Yes. Okay. Your manifesting power is at an all-time high. Power active affirmation activation. I am a powerful manifester. I am mindful of my thoughts. I am compassionate towards my feelings. I infuse my thoughts and my feelings together as one so that I may alchemize alignment within myself 
to operate at my most highest of potentials and frequencies and vibrations that are in alignment with I. I don't know that's allowed. Write it down. You might receive recognition for a major creative project. <laughs> Celebrate. Be grateful. Whatever it is, build something that will stand the test of time. Upright, leader, successful, team-oriented, visionary, charismatic, powerful, determined, focused, opportunity, divine masculine right now is uh, some focused energy of following his burning passions, right? Coming out of the fire, right? Burning through. And where is the divine masculine headed to? Where is the divine masculine going? Where all that fire? Where is he going? Spirit, where is he going? Ah, queen of swords. So you got a king and a queen, right? This is the divine. See, see the, the, the queen of cups showed up yesterday for the divine masculine energy, right? Which is great because it's that queen of love, right? Because she's the empress anyways, right? She's all queens embodied in two, one. And she's just showing up in the pieces of the parts that the king has to to meet the king, the king as the king, not as the page, not as the knight, as not as nothing else but the king. So the king is showing up to this portion of the queen, who's boundary sand line is drawn in the sand. Like, what are you bringing to me, sir, at this time? Yes, I love you. Yes, I like you. Yes, we are compatible. Yes, we got a lot of chemistry. Yes, we got a lot of stuff. But what are you? Who's showing up here? Come with me, cut you. I'm into that. Right? Queen of Swords. He going to the Queen of Swords, right? So that's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius kind of energy, right? So like, and that can be Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, you know, like whatever is dominant in your chart and stuff like that, right? So it doesn't matter, or like a divorcee, or someone that is, um by herself right now this king is showing up by himself right now and this is a guarded queen that he's showing up to right and i'm hearing so there's somebody coming for you and even with that sword out too what's gonna happen between the two let me just when he shows oh so much but that's not what we're taking right when he's gonna show up to and what's gonna happen between the two What's gonna happen between the two? Let's do this quick little three. What's gonna happen when he showed up like this? When the king showed up to that queen? What is going to go in between right now? Okay, what's the that's too many. Right? What's gonna show up? What's gonna happen between the two? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was too many. I want one. I want one. Oh, that's oh, okay. Look. So you got the knight of pentacles and you got the page of pentacles. So look at this. You got some earthly mixing tangible energies you got some creation going here you got a message of pentacles you got some collaborative energies happening here between the two you have two different energies you have a loyal companion and you got that icy queen cat right here showing up in the world this pentacles right showing up showing up showing up Right, so I just literally page of pentacles expect good news regarding real estate. Maybe you guys live together, maybe you guys will work closer together. Right, if you're headed back to school, you may get a proof of financial aid, money will flow much easier for you. Right, because the divine masculine, too, is also working on his earthly pentacles. So, there's some good news coming in for the divine masculine energies. Right, when you put in the work, and this could be female, too. Don't again, this is not gender specific, I'm just speaking it how I'm seeing it in the parts. Right, so you have right this queen energy cutting through all the bullshit and operating on her field of existence, right? On her pentacles, too passionate, too clear, because she's been through the fire, too. He's been through the fire, too, right? And they're working on this earthly domain, right? Knight, the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the, in the, in the tower, right? But he gets, he gets there. Right? So it's focused on that earthly security, that foundation, that stability, right? 
So expect good news. You may increase your skills by taking classes. <laughs> right? So this is a, I could read it like this. I'm even reading this, but like, I know this is, I said the divine masculine energy, but the divine feminine, you guys are showing up, working on yourselves on this earthly domain, right? Here with a king now, a king energy or an infusion of this fiery passion within you that is cutthroat now here on the earth and just getting shit done, right? So you can look at it like that. So this is like a divine masculine, divine feminine energy. I'm going to title it still divine masculine energy, but you are showing up strong because you are that influence. This is as within exudes and I'm always about self-evolution, right? So our self-evolution is the masculine energies within ourselves, the feminine energies in ourselves working co-creating um co -creating together, right? So page of pentacles, knight of pentacles, right? Nine of pentacles, Right? So productive is about being productive here, right? Dedicated, strategic about your approach to things, ambitious, hardworking, consistent. So there is going to be consistency here in this relationship, this pairing between these two that are aligning with their passions and their truth, right? Because the Queen of Swords holds the sword of truth in her hands. I know my truth. I know my passions. I know my right. I know exactly what it is. So a king and a queen show up together to work harmoniously on their productivity, right? Dedicated, strategic, ambitious, hardworking, consistent, responsible methodical um detailed persistent right here on earth and what is it that they birth one more card and then that's it and i gotta go one more and what are they birthing love it hopefully you know this will upload because i got stuff to do i got class to attend <laughs> okay This came out yesterday, the Six of Swords, coming out of troubling times, troubled waters, right? And going into calmer seas. So that's the energy that the two of these, when they join forces, bring, right? This harmony between these things. So no more being stuck in that fear, trap, self-sabotage, or not lack of their of movement and stuff like that. So we are here together, right? And you are aligning in that, right? You're taking the action that's needed based off of your understanding right of your own understanding right so that you can overstand and move forward in that kind of leveling of alignment and getting out of those troubled seas and into calmer waters lovely oh uh, thank you for tuning in with me enchantressthebabbler.com um i mean enchantress the babbler enchantress the babbler as i right but yeah you can go to enchantressthebabbler.com and sign up for free too also um check out my i'm going to provide a link which has all my handles i think it's so cool so it's kind of like a link and it shows you everywhere that you can get in contact with me um just you know check click the link and then you're going to see every way that you can learn about my evolve into it coaching portal system um anything that you want to learn about instagram tiktok i don't even know if i put tiktok on there i may have not but still you, you can go to instagram and find my tiktok or you could just put curly alchemy on tiktok and snapchat um if that is something that you want to do enchantingbabble.blogspot.com also but everything will be in the information in the description box below thank you so much until we speak again my friends namaste